right so let's make this animation so i'm just gonna play it for you once um and so you can see basically we have this water simulation which was done completely inside of unreal engine 5 without using any plugins i've seen a lot of people use that um that one plugin a uh, plugin i'm not sure about its name but i kind of forgot its name but yeah um we're not going to be using that i think it was ultra realistic water or something like that yeah so basically there are uh there's an island right here there are a few rocks and there's a man right here just for fun and then we have the sun and the clouds and everything so the clouds are also customized we did some uh, modifying with it you can also use ultra dynamic sky um for what do you call it for uh for the sky however we're not going to be using that plugin because um although it might give a little better a, a little better results i think uh most people don't have that plugin right so let's begin with a brand new project so what i'm going to do is that i'm simply going to close this sequencer for now i'm just going to go to file new level and new empty level now you can just create a brand new unreal engine project um however i'm just going to be continuing in this because i have already my i have my assets already imported so i'm just going to press ctrl s by the way to save this ocean ss just save it perfect now what i'm going to do is that i'm going to be uh starting with adding a landscape so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to go to the selection mode and i'm going to go down to landscape mode and i think this should be fine just press create and now we have a landscape and before we do anything else let me just go ahead and set up a basic lighting setup so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to go to window and i'm going to go down to environment light mixer create skylight create atmospheric light sky atmosphere volumetric crowd and finally height fog so that should do it that should create us a basic lighting setup so i'm just going to be reducing my camera speed to something like three so that we can yeah i think that should be fine right but now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to be adding the water. So for the water, what I'm going to do is that I'm simply going to be going up here and I'm just going to be clicking this all classes. And I'm just going to be searching for water. Now, if you don't have this, if you don't see these uh, this um, these options, what you can do is you can simply go to settings, plugins, and then you can just search for water. And then you can just turn this on water um, and experimental this uh, plugin right here. This is required for this. Uh, it does come with Unreal Engine 5, so you don't have to download it or anything like that. You just have to check it and then you have to uh, restart your Unreal Engine. So that's going to be perfect. And after that, you can just simply come here, all classes and water. So I'm just going to be going to um, water body ocean. You can obviously use other ones as well, uh, but I'm going to be using water body ocean. So now what you can see is that you're going to see that we have water <laughs> however it looks very bad right now and the reason for that is because that um island is far away so i'm just going to be bringing it right here so basically the way this water works is by creating an island in the middle and then around that uh, we're going to have a whole body of water however we don't really need that island in this we're going to be adding some rocks later on so that's something else so i'm just going to be selecting these individual points and what i'm going to do is that i'm going to be moving them to one corner so that we can hide that from our scene just press that and move it right there so that should be it uh, that that's not going to be visible in our scene uh, and so the water looks pretty good already however let's say your water doesn't look this good what you can do is you can simply go ahead and modify the settings now i did modify the settings quite a bit uh, so i'm just going to be showing you my settings and i'm going to be teaching you how to modify them as well uh, let me just increase my camera speed to something like five back i think that should be fine and so you can see that where our landscape ends our uh, water also ends uh, however like after that we have this um what do you call it this other water so that's perfectly fine what we can do is maybe we can just move this down slightly so that it sort of blends in with that just move it down slightly actually i don't think that's going to do that much of a yeah i don't think that's going to help so it's fine for now or uh, how uh, however when we change the lighting it's going to be fine Right, so what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to be uh, showing you my water settings. Right now, you're going to see the water looks pretty realistic, and by default, it doesn't look this good. Um, and so what I did was I simply selected this um, water body ocean. You can go down to this wave water wave water waves asset, and you can just double click this right here. Now you're going to have um, access to all the wave settings. So by default, I think this this number of waves is set to something like 16, which is going to uh, which is going to have very little waves. So uh, very less amount of waves so that's not something which i want uh you're gonna see that it looks pretty fake right and the reason for that is because we have a lot less um, waves than we need so 32 looks a lot better uh, if you set it to something like 64 that's going to be way too much um, and it's obviously going to make your computer very slow as well 
you can see the frame rate drop was quite significant. So I'm just going to set it to 32. 32 just seems to be the sweet spot. Uh, and uh, and by the way, if you if your lighting in, if the lighting in your scene doesn't look this good, um, then what you can do is you can simply um, by default it's going to be this, right? By default it's going to be this. However, you can simply go to settings and engine scalability settings and set this to cinematic. Now what this is going to do is that it's going to basically make your reflections more accurate. And apart from that, I'm just going to show you another thing which you can do, but that, not right now. We're going to be coming to that later because that involves the post process volume. And also, by the way, just make sure that your uh, skylight inside your skylight make sure that it is set to real-time capture because that's gonna um, make your lighting look a lot better so I think that looks pretty decent and apart from that um, this minimum wavelength I'm just gonna set it to by default I think it's 512 or uh, 521 which is not that good I just reduced it to something like 100 because that's gonna um, sort of make the minimum wavelength very less which is gonna add uh, which is gonna make the which is gonna generally reduce the size of the waves which is really good and the maximum wavelength, I'm just going to set it to default and wave uh, wavelength fall off this to default as well. Now the minimum amplitude, basically the amplitude controls the height of the waves. So if I just set it to something like that, you're going to see it's going to become very flat. However, if I set it to something like four, which is I think the default, that's going to be perfectly fine. And the maximum amplitude that again controls the height of your, um, what do you call it? The height of your water waves. And again, if I increase that, you're going to see that the height is going to become very high. And if I reduce that, you're going to see it's going to become pretty flat. But I think the default just works fine for me. 80 is fine. And apart from that, yeah, you can also control the wave, uh, the this, the wind direction. And so, and the wind direction speed. So that's going to make your scene a little more, um, what do you call it? A little more interesting if you want. So there's that. And now our water is basically complete. You're going to see it looks pretty decent. It looks pretty realistic. So now let's start with the lighting first. Um, and so the, for the lighting, it's pretty simple. I'm just going to be moving the... Actually, you know what? Let me just take my camera right there. I'm just going to be starting from something like this. Let's start from somewhere here. And so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to be... Let me just close this. And also, by the way, just save your project and save everything. I'm just going to select my direction light and I'm going to be rotating it. Something like that. Because we had sort of like a sunset vibe to our scene. And so something like that should be decent pretty good and so right now the thing is that the sun is the sun disk is way too small uh so to increase that increase the size of that what i'm going to do is that i'm going to select the direction light i'm going to come down to this source angle and i'm going to be increasing it now let's see you increase it to something like five it's going to become very large which is going to look pretty unrealistic obviously the sun isn't that big um however obviously you have the option to do that i think something like this should be good and maybe this should be set at three we are going to be changing the position of uh, changing the whole look of our clouds as well. So don't worry about that. And I think our water looks pretty decent. However, the color of it doesn't look that good. So what I'm going to do to fix that is that I'm just going to go. I'm just going to select the water body again. I'm going to go down to the water material, water material right here. I'm going to double click right here. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to be coming down to this absorption thing. Now, by default, it's going to be set at this. So you're going to see this looks even worse because it's way too light. Um, but if I just check this, you're going to see what I did was I basically reduced this alpha channel. Um, alpha, basically, this uh, this controls sort of like the transparency of the water. So for example, if I set this to something like 5, you're going to see it's going to become very transparent. Uh, the water is going to become very transparent and light. If I set this to 0, you're going to see it's going to become totally black. So that's obviously not something which you want. I want to set it to something like 0. Point, uh, maybe 0. Point to actually not 0 0.2 what i'm going to do is that i'm going to be setting it to something like 0 0.7 and then what i'm going to do is that i'm going to be reducing the overall exposure of our scene because right now this part is very overexposed and this part is correctly exposed so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to be bringing in a post process volume in our scene let me just go up here volumes not volumes visual effects and post process volume i'm just going to be moving it aside let's move it down so that it doesn't come in our way and make sure with that uh, post process volume selected, just, just go down there and search for infinite. And just check this infinite extent unbound. Now what this is going to do is that this is basically going to make sure that the post process volume affects the whole scene regardless of its position. Um, and so I'm just going to be uh, with that selected, I'm just going to go down to exposure, metering mode and exposure compensation. I'm just going to check both of those. And I'm going to be setting the metering mode to manual and the exposure compensation to something like 10. 
10 is way too little. Maybe 11. I think 11 should be fine. Yeah, I think something like that should be good. Now you can see that this becomes pretty dark. And so obviously we don't want it to be this dark. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to be um, selecting the water body once again. Going down to the water material again. And let's actually increase the A value of that absorption channel. Absorption property parameter. Maybe something like 1. I think 1 should be fine. You can obviously tweak around this color as well. Make sure that you don't change this color. Because what this is going to do is that this is going to set your um it's going to make this it's going to convert this into one solid value which is not something which we want you want this to be a gradient which it is by default so you can just play around with this green value to sort of control the color of this i set it to two maybe five now you can just control the color of this this water wave as well i think something like that should be pretty decent and yeah, let's go with that so now you're going to see that it looks pretty decent however what i'm going to do now is that um actually i think this this um landscape is pretty small right so what i would advise you to do if you're following this is to create the, the landscape which you create i want it to be uh, i want you to make it a little larger than this because right now what we did was we made this landscape pretty small uh, so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to go ahead and delete this landscape and just delete it and so everything is going to be fine for now however what i'm going to do is that i'm simply going to go ahead and create a new landscape this time I'm going to set the size to something like 255. Just create this and that should be fine. Now what we can do is we can maybe go ahead and re-import the water. So um, I'm just going to, I'm simply going to be getting rid of all these. Let's see water brush manager. And yeah, I think those were the assets which were related to the water. And so what we can do is you can just delete them and you can go ahead and create the water again. Now obviously all the settings and everything will be pre-applied. So you don't need to worry about that water body ocean and make sure that once again make sure that your let me just increase the camera speed something like that make sure that this is set to one corner something like that should be good all right so now hopefully our water is going to look better yep it's perfect and our and our island is pretty far away i can just move it Make sure that it is intersecting with the landscape because otherwise your water is not going to be visible. Right, so now let's start with our, the next step, which is going to be um, adding, what do you call it? Adding the island. 